Let's start on the fun we show. Closing in five minutes. You closed it in five minutes? Yeah. Hey, look, what's still here is the taco. Can you believe it? Nobody has wanted the taco yet. Hey, if you're a Trekkie and you know it, make a comment. I'd love to see who's still a Trekkie. Oh, look at all the little canning jars. They're so cute. Wow, that is some hot, hot pink back there. I'm not feeling very worky today. <laughs> da boss. But what are you? What are you? Apparently I'm not da boss because I can't get in there. Friday morning here in Las Vegas. I just got done taking Rachel to her horseback riding lesson. We had to like bump it up to 8 a.m. in the morning versus like the afternoon lesson that we used to have when we had to worry about it being too chilly in the morning. Weather. Uh, anyway, it's 90 degrees right now at 10 a.m. So it's going to be a hot one today. It's going to be a hot one. So I am getting in here to this Goodwill and I'm coming here with not a whole lot of time to spare because I do have a live sale today and uh, my live sales are always 1 p.m. on Friday. So if you have not subscribed and hit the little bell notification so you see when I go live, that's one of the lives that I do is, is my live sale. That's 1 p.m. Pacific time. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here, and I just say that too because a lot of times when I am shopping in Goodwill, I'm looking for things specifically for the the customer base that I've built up over the last year and a half for those live sales. So not everything I buy is great for eBay. So I try to tell you what's great for eBay. And I also, at the end of the video, I show you eBay sold comps because that's what most of you are dealing with. So. I want you to have some very, very realistic comps when you're out there finding stuff to resell. So without further ado, let's get inside. Let's get shop done. All right, first things first, lucky cart. Which one is it? I'm feeling this one. Let's go. All right, let's start on the fun we'll show. Closing in five minutes. You close it in five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> he likes to mess with me. They're not closing in five minutes. Paula Dean's family kitchen, a little olive tray. That's cute. Five bucks. Solid red alder appetizer board. Huh. Huh. Now, I was just here a few days ago, so some of the stuff is going to look the same. It's always interesting too to see what's still here and kind of try to figure out the why of it all. Usually it's a price issue or just a desirability issue because it could be like a broken item. Let's see what you are. Oh, it's a little booklet. What's that say? The joys I have possessed are ever mine. Remembrance brings them hourly back. That is a candle. That is a candle. That is an interesting mug with frogs. Little, like Native American frogs. The treasure chest. $2.99. It's clean inside. Nice. That's so unusual. I think I'm going to grab that. See, like the poor little gold angels are still here because they're just not very good quality and they're chipped. And you combine those two. That's. That's not so good. If this is Department 56, it's not. Um, the ones that are just pieces like this that are Department 56, those are a good pickup. Oh, look, a little succulent It's still here, a little hedgehog. She's still here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this little kitty's still here, and I did get some comments about why didn't you pick up that kitty? And so it's still here, so this time I'll pick them up because I have customers who really, really want me to offer this kitty for sale. He is $2.99, so we'll grab him. Oh, the little, I think she's Polish. I do think she's a Polish doll. She's still here. 
collector plates. Oh my goodness. What are these? Balsam forest, but who makes you? They're tea lights. Oh, they're threshold. So, so here's the thing. A lot of the target overstock target liquidation comes to Goodwills. They have like a an agreement that they donate or sell possibly even their things they no longer want on the shelves to Goodwill. That's why you see a lot of the Target stuff. Oh, it opens that way. Teach, love, inspire. Oh, it's for, it's a teacher. Goodness, teachers, you gotta hold on to it for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Candle. I mean, school literally just got out this week. Literally. All right, I get it. If you don't have a lot of room to store things, I get it. She's still here. That is a nice little clamshell. It's a small one. If you ever find the large clamshells at a good price, snag those because... Uh, they go for really, really good money. Um, this one at $5 is still pretty cool. I don't know what these go for. I'll know by the end of the video when I put it in the recap. But even if it's not good for resale, I use shells in my decor around my aquarium. So I will pick this up for 5 bucks. Did I see these last time? I think I did. Those poor little bunnies. And those were here... Very interesting. Are you a Starbucks or are you just a Jerusalem mug? You are just a Jerusalem mug from a tell, um, tell, tell marketing makes that one. Oh, he's still here. Carrie was looking at this before. Didn't pick it up because it is $7.99. I think we shall wait on that one as well. It's a sweet little bunny. He's actually vintage, I do believe. He's got that felted bottom. He's kind of a nice little realistic looking bunny. I think he's probably gonna end up going with me, but if I go over too many items, if I fill the cart, he might be one of the items I would put back. But for now, I'm gonna put him in the cart at $4.99. All right, we got some angel wings. Got an angel, missing some wings. Goodwill's got her covered. And what is this? Acacia. Lipper. Oh, you're an acacia bread box. A lipper. Oh, it's not really great quality. I guess maybe acacia wood is lightweight, but wow, that seems really flimsy and does it even open well? Not great. Not great. I do like the look of it, though. How much is it? And it's not priced. Hmm. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up and see what that's going for. So there are several listed uh, with really good prices, but there are no solds in the last 90 days. So that is an item I'm gonna steer clear of. Oh, cute. Little bell. Peace loves more is still here. Another one of those dolls is still here on this side. Almost as if somebody like picked it up to think about it and then changed their mind. says the Holy Land and it's it's missing some pieces though it would have had some oh the Crusader coins are gone and the rubber stamps are gone well that's a bummer kind of a nice set but it would need to be complete to have resale value hey look what's still here is the taco can you believe it nobody has wanted the taco yet kind of sad actually. Poor taco. Even the taco isn't making people happy. That's kind of a travesty. Is that a birdhouse? It does look kind of like a birdhouse. Not a great one though. Not a great one. 
What is this little frame? I don't know what that's for. All right, all right. Okay. I'm looking up here. I, so in my eyes, I see a nest. I know it's a thing for a plant, but in my eyes, I see a big nest. <laughs> okay, I don't need that. I don't need that. Don't need it. What is this? Like a hamburger press, I think, maybe? This is the metal section and sometimes they do really well and then sometimes there's not a whole bunch that would be great for resale. Good if you're like decorating a house and you like this kind of thing, but nothing that I'm looking for today. Yep. Nothing here. A nice Ducky. Hmm. The metal coated leaves are kind of cool, but meh. You can kind of get that kind of stuff at Target and Walmart. I'm trying to lean more toward the more rare items, the more desirable and emotion provoking items. That's why I kind of stand back and let something call to me from the shelves, you know, because that means it, it sparks something. But nothing is sparking nothing. <laughs> There's no sparking happening here. No sparking at all. That little red vase is just a cheap little flashed or painted vase. Yep, nothing here. All right, we will wander down the plastics aisle. Now, these are not plastic. They are stoneware from Target. Pineapples from Target. I do need some more little storage containers for some of the pet-related things I've got going on. Um, because we have to mix up things for the tortoises. We have to mix up things for the aquarium fish food. We're kind of, we're, we're like a little zoo in our, you know, prep kitchen. Um, those were too small. I'm looking for a little bit bigger, almost like that. How much are you? I don't know, because somebody took your price tag off, but it'll scan. Oh, $2.99 for both of those. See, I will pick those up and use those for my own home purposes because it makes life easier when you have the right container right what like that pretty color blue and... mm -mm -mm. nothing else here plates and dishes plates and dishes They're cute. Susan Wingett. Susan Wingett stuff used to be pretty good. I don't know if it is now. I'm not going to pick those up because they're big heavy plates and it's just not the kind of special special thing that I am looking to deal with right now. But I tell you what I might pick up is these racks that I can use to make more space on some of my shelves. So $2.99 I'm uh, picking those up. to help make life a little easier. Look at this cute little crocheted mug cozy with the little nativity figures on it. I love a little, look at there's even, somebody put a little tea packet in there. That's really kind of adorable. Let's see if the mug has a name on it. It's uh, Better Homes, okay. But you could use the little cozy guy on pretty much any mug. See, this is, this is sparking emotion. I'd like it if there was, you know, three camels, but we can't be too choosy, but at least Jesus is in the nativity. I, I, I like this, I like this. All right, for $2.99, we're picking it up. 
got a lot of these little, I don't know. Oh, they're Rosenthal. I thought they looked like good quality, um, but I was not octagon. Um, that's, I don't even know what you call it. It's not quite a circle. It's got some little facets to it. But what do you call that? What do you call that? There is a creamer and a sugar. So Rosenthal is a pretty good brand. Um, I am gonna look these up just to see how much they're selling for and see if that might be something worth picking up. Turns out these are a very good pickup. So we've got five cups and saucers and I'm also going to get the little creamer and sugar, which are $3 each. Score! So they just brought out a new cart of stuff and I grabbed a few things. Now, the reason I grabbed this, I don't normally sell like vintage toys, but the new Top Gun movie just came out. Um, this is Revel, which is a really good brand of models. I opened it up and it appears to be new. Everything is still in the plastic. And this is only $5. So that's a very, very, very low risk that this is gonna sell quickly. So I am gonna grab that. I also grabbed this Star Trek USS Enterprise. Uh, it is also $4.99. It's an AMT is the brand. This is something that could sell really, really well in my booth because uh, there's lots of Trekkies out there. Hey, if you're a Trekkie and you know it, make a comment. <laughs> I'd love to see who's still a Trekkie. All right, so I'm gonna grab that one too. And as long as I was on a toy kick, I went ahead and I grabbed all of these little toy soldier bags. Um, lots and lots of pieces in these. They're $4 each bag. And I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six bags. Um, I don't know how well these are do, will do, but again, it's something to baggy up and put in the booth. Uh, so I am going to give these a try. Plus, the other reason is I already had some of these that I previously bought, and I had other things, not quite enough of the soldiers. So this gives me a nice, nice variety of those now to make some really good baggies full. What did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six bags at $3.99 each. I also grabbed this guy. Very, very popular character. It is $3.99. It is the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. So we're grabbing him too. This piece I'm a little torn on. Um, it is only $2.99. So I know I can find somebody to love this and give it a good home and it's a piece that could potentially have more value than I think. Um, it's it's pretty nice quality and it's got that nice cobalt blue. I'm just not super happy with the paint job so that's why I'm thinking it might be like a student piece. Uh, nonetheless, $2.99. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. All right, on to the glassware. Some pretty cool Bex beer steins. Protus of Germany. These are $2.99 each. Interesting, there's four of them. Not, it's not really my thing, doesn't spark any joy. So I will pass those. These are really nice. I'm looking to see if they have a signature anywhere. They don't, but they got this really nice etched leaf pattern. Again, because I don't know right off the bat who they are and time is so short for me, I will leave those for someone who has more time to look them up. Uh, but they are really, really nice. Oh, look at all the little canning jars. They're so cute. And yep, I'm gonna pass up all the black stems right now as well. Um, it's kind of a little self-discipline because I have not done anything with the ones I already have. And this store's close enough to me that uh, if I do a count and I need one or two I could bit back over here in a jiffy and I could find them fairly often so it's not like a rarity that you know you have to scoop up when you find it it is something I can find at other times these have a pretty look but I can tell they're cheaply made that's just a little stained on 
color that's going to come off at some point. And then somebody's going to be really unhappy. And then the mugs. Wow, that is some hot, hot pink back there. Main Street of America, Route 66. Now, I, I might have been tempted to get that had it not been so scratched up. But it's pretty scratched up. So we will leave that one. I'm not feeling very worky today. <laughs> oh, don't we all feel that way sometimes? Okay, here's what I love to find. So I love to find these for a dollar or less. Uh, and this one's half... No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is gray half price? Why am I thinking gray's half price? Gray's half price, right? Or is it orange? No, I think it's gray. If gray's half price, I'm going to grab it. I'll have to double check that. Um, but I, I, I got a lot of comments on a recent video where I had passed or bought, I can't remember. <laughs> I talked about these and a lot of people say, oh, you can find those in the dollar store. That's okay, you guys. Did you know you can source at the dollar store to resell on eBay? Because number one, not everyone has a dollar store. And number two, not everyone wants to go into a dollar store to get their stuff. So uh, they'll buy these on emotion and they'll go, oh, those are really, really cute. I want a set of those. So don't just say just because something comes from the dollar store that it is not worth picking up to resell. Right. Let's see if there's anything else here. Don't think so. Nothing's grabbing my attention. Uh, nope. Oh, look at that cute little handmade little train car. Another little train car. Just little handmade guys. I so appreciate people who have the ability to do crafts and make things and I just don't have a lot of patience. I think it's because time is just so incredibly valuable to me and I just don't see the, the time element here. You come back up here with your friends so somebody can find the whole train. I know, I just, as I, as I get older and I'm, you know, doing more things in my life. I'm just finding I prioritize things a bit differently. And, you know, obviously time with my kids, like that's the, the number one priority. So anything that takes away time from my kids has to really be worth doing that or be something that my kids might want to do with me. Now, if my kids were all about it, then uh, we'd probably do it as a family project. Like Rachel and I keep talking about doing a fairy garden uh, but so far I haven't been able to get her quite motivated and it's not something I want to do just on my own I've got to wait for her to be motivated to do it with me and for Rachel you know her her priority is painting and sketching and playing with her birds and all of that stuff so just how life works Let's see some Temptations trivets. Let's see how much those are. Let's go on the bottom of the Temptations pans. It's interesting that they're purple. I don't even have any purple. They might call this the confetti. You know what? Mm. Let's see how much you are. $3.99 and $3.99. I'll go ahead and pick those up. And I see canister here I'd like to look at a little closer. It is $10 and I already see a chip, right? Big chip on the rim. So that's going to make it a, a no-go, but always fun to look and see who does it. I still can't quite make that out. Hmm. Where's my Noah when I need him? Nice transferware plates. Who makes you Churchill? I do look for the Buffalo brand ones, which seem to be heavily sought after still. All right, we got the mishmash. Ooh, composition book. I need another one. I always pick up my composition books here. Yes, I know I can probably get those cheaper at the dollar store too, but not really because I would have to drive to the dollar store to go get them, which is that time thing I was talking about. 
And who doesn't need tissue paper for wrapping goodies? So I will pick that up here as well. I think I picked these up last time and was like, what are these? I still don't know. Oh, nothing else here that I can't live without. Boy, these shelves are just a true mishmash today. Everything from bird seed to car parts. <laughs> Some pet carriers. Da boss. But what are you? What are you? Apparently I'm not da boss because I can't get in there. Bathroom goodies. Nope. Nothing today. Quick scan down the cookware. Let's see if there's anything good either for Noah or for reselling. <laughs> the Beanie Babies ending up over here in the cookware. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a nice lid. Blackstone 12 inch basting cover. <laughs> we have lids. We have lids for everything. <laughs> Wallpaper border, anyone? Hmm? Nothing exciting in the crafty stuff either. You can always tell when snow season is over here too. They get everybody's like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna get new ones next year. So all the skis come to Goodwill now. Alright, we'll take a peek a -poo through the lamps. See, they're still here. All those nice 70s lamps. They are still here waiting for somebody to claim them. And it's not happening. I'm sure somebody's waiting for half price day, but these are pretty nice. Um, they call these Tiffany style. They're not, they're not really. Um, 25 bucks each so for me I can pass at that price even though I could make some decent amount of money on those I'll leave them for somebody else they are pretty nice but I don't need any more lamps right now okay I've been doing really really good in the art lately again I don't know why I don't know why that happens um, so I gotta look I got to look what else? And you notice I'm, I'm hoping if I find something, it's in the small art. Look at these came from, um, looks like a Big Lots tag, Midwestern Home Products. They're kind of cool, but not super high quality or anything. And there's lots of them. I'll just put you down there with your friends. bottom down here a little bit bigger stuff which I really don't want to find anything bigger but you know you know every once in a while the stuff ends up here that is worth thousands of dollars so if you don't look you could be passing by the next you know news story like this this right here has a very mid-century vibe going on um, look how that is tacked on there Look at the stretcher on the back. Hmm. This is this is old. Look at the the coloring of the canvas. And it's not a very exciting subject matter, but it's kind of an impression of still life if there is such a thing. Now it does have a couple it's got a couple holes in it. But you know those can also be patched. I wish it had an artist's signature, which is what I'm looking for, not seeing. So I'm gonna have no idea who done it. No idea at all, unless they signed it on the back, which sometimes they do. 
but in this case they did not. So I think what this is is um, somebody cut down a larger painting and the reason I say that, see how the, the, the subject matter seems to be going off the uh, canvas right there and although no, 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 I take it back because the paint ends there. This is kind of a mystery. It's kind of a mystery piece. But you know what? I think I need to leave it because I just don't have the time to investigate too much. I know, and you can tell I'm wrestling in my head. I'm wrestling in my head about it. I might be sorry for leaving it, but I'm going to leave it. And if it's like some big thing and you watch this video and you come down here and snag it, then I am excited. And I would love to know if that happens. I don't ever regret leaving something that somebody else can then make money on. I am in this for all of you. Wrigley. That's an oil painting. Pretty nice. Hmm. Wipe your paws. Just wipe your paws. We have that on our doormat. Oh, nice wood frames. Gosh, if you ever need a frame, just go to Goodwill. Goodwill Goodwill's got all the nice frames you could ever want. Okay. I think that about does it for the small art. A lot of the same things that were here the other day that I already passed on. So, all right. And this section, I'm going to go by really, really quick. All right, they have just restocked the uh, linens. So, hopefully, there's something. Oh, I'm sitting here pushing a cart that's empty, which means I left my cart someplace. I have to go find my cart. There she is. Oh, my goodness. The brain gets so wacky sometimes you... Uh, you don't even realize you just have the feel of pushing a cart. That's how focused I get on the camera. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the linen. So after the last time when my technology wasn't working for me to look up a Jurassic World blanket, um, I got a lot of comments telling me there's a new Jurassic World movie coming out. So this could be a pretty quick flip. Uh, let's see how much you are. One thing's for sure, I do love shipping blankets and pillows and soft things. I love it, you know, you just put it in a bag and it's off and running. Okay, where's your price tag? Where is your price tag, honey? This is a nice thick blanket too. Um, there it is. Oh, I spotted it. It's up here. It's hiding from me. It is $5.99. So, we're going to go ahead and get the Jurassic World. It's kind of a thick, more like a comforter for $5.99. I always check out brand new games and such, but diving off the coral reef of integers just does not even sound fun to me at all. <laughs> okay, well, I looked it up and it's actually like a $30 to $50 game. I suspect closer to the new school year that price will hold pretty true. Only one of them listed on eBay for 50 bucks and it's $6.99 so yep that's a good pickup. So I've been doing pretty good looking through the purses lately so this is Dooney and Burke. Hold on. Um, so I am going to look through the purses. Now this does have a quality feel to it. I mean it's it's uh it's got some substance to it. There's the little Dooney and Burke fob. This has come off. But look at the fob. It's got really nice tight stitching. The leather is soft. It's got the Dooney and Burke on the back of the little snaps there. It's real leather. Like, it's a really nice, real leather. I'm looking. I'm not a Dooney and Burke expert by any means, but this does look to me to be authentic, and it's $7.99. What do you guys think? Any Dooney and Burke people out there that are screaming at me, no, 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 don't do it. I don't know what that little patch is in there. 
I'm thinking there should be like another another tag on the inside though, right? Shouldn't there be like another little leathery tag on the inside? I don't I don't know. It's just a it's a really nice leather backpack too, even if it oh there it is. Even if it wasn't like Dooney and Burke, but here's the here's the label. That, that just really looks real to me. I don't exactly know what these go for, but I think at $7.99, just as even a nice leather small backpack purse, uh, that's a good deal and I'm gonna grab it. Oh, now that mail was makes me wanna dig just a little bit harder because, wait a minute, what are you? You're odd. Because <laughs> um, where you find one designer purse, you're liable to find more. Because did somebody just miss that? Or do they know something I don't know? Or I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's a bad risk to me. Lavouk? Lavouk? I don't know that brand. Don't know it. It does not feel like really super good quality. I don't know. I'm not really a purse girl. I've never even really carried a purse. I carry one out of necessity, but now I'm like converted to the little mini backpack thing that I wear so that I don't have to carry a purse because I need my hands for everything. And usually there's a camera in one of them. So, Rafi for Target. I'm looking for vintage. I'm looking for, you know, high quality. That's new with tags. That's the only reason I'm looking at it and it's got like that Burberry look to it, but no, no, no. What does that say? Madden girl, like a Steve Madden Jr. kind of thing. And I also like, I feel just like I do with glass or anything else. I do this whether you're a clothing seller, whether you're a glass seller, whether whatever it is, quality you feel quality with your hands. Like, that's pretty nice leather. I can tell that that's pretty nice leather. I don't know who done it. Or how hard it would be to sell but I mean you can just tell and then you explore further once you've determined like there's some quality to it so learn your niche learn what the quality pieces are and how to spot them that's that's how you do this business you just get your hands on everything oh that one's new with tags as well Lou and L oh it's got a broken strap okay I think I'm just getting away with the one Dooney and perk on this little part of the adventure. I think what I'm going to do is do one more pass through where I've already been because they are restocking and I've been on this side of the store for a while so I don't know what they've brought out. I'm going to go look for signs of more stuff to be brought out but um, I'm having that dilemma. I'm like way over my 10. I'm way over my 10 but it's still my card isn't quite full yet so I think we can keep going. So I went through a clothes rack and found a few things. Um, now I kind of buy like my size and like these are pink, uh, which you know what, if they're not worth reselling, I will wear them. Pink used to be a really good brand. This is another pink. So I'm gonna grab those. Now these other ones I did look up. This is also pink, uh, but it's with Fifth and Ocean clothing. Uh, and this little kind of jacket here does sell in the $20 range, so I will pay $5.99 for that to sell for $20. And the same with these really cool pants, which I kind of dig. Like if I could find something, an occasion, somewhere, somehow to wear those, I totally would. They are Kathmandu Imports, which is another like, you know, 20, 20-ish brand and uh, $5.99. So little clothing items. All right, the second pass-through did not reveal anything else that I needed to put in the cart, so we're headed to check out. Stay tuned for the recap where I tell you what I bought, how much I paid, and how much it is worth on eBay to resale, which is based on researching actual sold comps. I don't just pull numbers off the top of my head. I actually tell you a price range of where it's sold in the last 90 days. All right, here that comes.
tempted to get these for Ozzy and Peanut, but I just don't think that they would actually do it to where it would look like that. They would just hold the side of it, but they are funny. Well, that was a fun trip. It took forever to get checked out. I don't know uh, what's going on, but they had one poor cashier and then she had to go run back and go mark some furniture. And there was probably like six of us in line and um, nobody around. And it, I don't know. I don't want to like get too critical, but I, I really felt bad for that one clerk because everybody was getting upset with her, but she was like doing the job of look like 10 people. But that's, uh, I was having a conversation with a gal in line about how customer service has gone down so ridiculously much. And I know many of my viewers come from a time when customer service was king. Like everything was about customer service, but our society is accepting no customer service anymore. We're just accepting it. We still honor the businesses. We still go there. We still, and I mean, I'm guilty too. I'm like, I'm calling myself out. Um, we tolerate and with tolerance comes acceptance and with acceptance comes just the way it is. I'm not sure there's much we can do. Um, I, I, I mean, there are places that I just simply won't go back to because the customer service is like on a scale of bad customer service they're like at the bottom of the scale I guess you would call it anyways I, I don't know why, why I got off on that tangent <laughs> just had to get it off my chest and I know many of you will relate um, so I think my best purchase there was that Dooney and Burke backpack uh, everything I can see from a little bit of research that I've done shows that it is authentic and if it is indeed authentic it is worth over a hundred dollars so there we go. Uh, even though clothing isn't really my niche, but I do have a Poshmark shop. I am getting more and more back ramped up to where I'm going to be cross posting to other sites. I use my list perfectly software to do that, which is such an amazing time saver. Um, please, if you have any questions about using list perfectly in your reselling business, I am happy to answer those. Just leave it down in the comments. I promise you I will get to them and answer them because I just think it is a must have tool for resellers who want to grow their business. You know, there's some resellers who are just like hobbyist sellers, and, you know, those who aren't struggling to grow and make more money. It's fine. But for those of you who where time is everything and there's only so many things you can get done in a day and you need help managing your inventory list perfectly list perfectly and they have given me a code to give to you to get 30% off your first month to try it out so uh, that's down in the description of this video along with all kinds of other stuff a lot of people don't know there is there is a whole bunch of stuff down in the description of my videos uh, so with that I'm uh, getting home so that I can do my live sale and uh, see what else the day brings so you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.